everyone, hope you're well. So today's class is going to be this 30 minute class. It's kind of all rounder, but with a focus of hips. So with hips, we are either sat down or even if you're doing lots of exercise, lots of cycling or hiking or running, we carry a lot of tension in our hips. And with that tension, we carry a lot of emotions. So it's so important just every once in a while to just stretch out those hips and release that tension. So in this class, it's going to be quite gentle, but then we'll find some deeper poses in there. Um, we may also use a yoga strap towards the end of the class. This might not be necessary if you don't have one, so don't worry, that's absolutely fine. And if you don't have a yoga strap, then you can use either a little hand towel or anything you've got maybe, even like a jumper. So if you like this class, then please like, please subscribe to our channel, we've got lots more classes to come. Um, I really hope you enjoy this class. Meet back on the mat. in a comfortable seated position and if you want to sit on a little cushion just to underneath those sit bones just to lift those hips a little higher then you can do I just want you to get nice and comfortable here so yeah it'll be more of like an all-rounder class but with a focus on those hips finding a little bit of space all around those hips areas so while we sit here I just want you to close your eyes you can even do a gentle rock side to side, just so you find that center point on your sit bones. And then I want you to roll the shoulders up, back and down. Feel the neck lengthening as the crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling. You can have those hands just gently resting on top of your knees or in your lap. Take this short time at the beginning of the class just to start to bring that awareness inward. Notice how the body feels. You can just ignore that plane that is flying over at the moment. And then just start to bring awareness to the breath. Inhale through the nose, let it go all the way down into the belly, up into the chest, holding at the top. Open the mouth, exhale it out. And again, big inhale. And exhale. Let's go for one more. Inhale in through the nose. Fill the lungs up, exhale out through the mouth. We'll close the mouth and just keep that breath coming in and out through the nose. We'll start by opening the eyes. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up overhead, find length in the body already. And then as we exhale, take the right hand over towards the right, reach that left arm up and over. Big stretch, feel that left hip drawing down. And then inhale, come back through center, reach up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, back through center, let's find a twist. Exhale, right hand behind, left hand to the outside of that right knee. Just gently press against that knee, twisting through the core. Inhale here, exhale a little deeper. And slowly release back through centre, lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, left hand behind, right hand on that right, that left outer knee. Inhale, breathe into the belly, find length. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, now reach up through centre, bring the palms together. Exhale, bring the palms at the chest. Now from here, I want to take the right leg out towards the side. So we find ourselves in this seated tree position. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up. As we exhale, take that right hand over towards that right foot and that nice side body stretch over. Again, thinking about that left hip bone drawing down towards the mat. Inhaling here. Exhale, reach a little further. Let's go for one more breath. Inhale. And 
exhale. Bring yourself back up through center, switch the legs out, bring that right foot in, left leg out towards the side. And again, once we're there, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over. Again, try to think about that chest not closing down, but it's staying nice and open. The right arm may even be reaching up towards that ceiling, just breathing into the ribs. Inhale, and exhale. And again, inhale, and exhale. This time, inhale, come back up through center. From here, I want you to take that right leg out towards the side again. So we find ourselves in this wide-legged seated position, our straddle splits. Just think about those knees rolling out. And if it feels a little uncomfortable here, you feel like you're straining a bit, then just bring those feet a little bit closer. So getting yourself nice and comfortable. Again, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up. And then as we exhale, take that right hand over towards that right foot, left arm reaches up and over. Might feel a little bit different in those hips. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, this time bring the hands out in front. We're gonna find this gentle forward fold. Still at the beginning of the class, so nothing too strenuous. Just take a nice gentle forward fold and then bring yourself back up through center, lift the arms. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over towards that left hand side. And again, we inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands reach out in front. Maybe you can reach a little further this time. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, over towards the right. Inhaling back up through center. Exhale to the center. Out in front, reaching. Inhale, lifting up. Take that left hand over towards the left. Inhale, back up through center. Reach those arms last time through the middle. Exhale, reach those hands out a little further. Maybe we can walk those fingertips up just a little bit further, finding that forward fold. Here, take a little wiggle, staying a little bit longer. And then take your time, walk those hands back up. And then from here, I want you to bring the knees in, crossing over at the ankles. We're going to come forwards into our tabletop position, finding ourselves in our middle of the mat. Let's just wiggle those hips side to side a bit. Already finding some quite deep poses straight away. And then from here, moving through our cat cows, we inhale, scoop the belly down, lifting the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, then round the back, looking up towards the belly button, really press down through those hands. A couple more like this. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale to round the spine. One more, inhaling, lifting, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round the spine, finding even more space. And then from here, we'll tuck the toes underneath. Make sure those fingers are spread, gripping down into the mat. Start to lift the knees, lift the hips up and back. Find our downward facing dog. Feet are hip distance apart. Start with a little bend in the legs, really press down through those hands. Almost like we want to feel like we're splitting the mat in two. Inhaling here. Exhale to stay. And again, inhale. Make sure we're not hunched up in our shoulders. Roll those shoulders away from the ears, so down the back. Exhaling to stay. We're going to inhale, rock forwards, find our high plank position. Squeeze that core, squeeze those glutes. Exhale, take the knees down, find our chaturanga halfway down. Elbows tight to the body. And then all the way down onto the belly, untuck the toes. Inhale here, find our cobra, gently lift the chest. Pressing down through those hands, roll the shoulders back. You can take a little wiggle here, side to side. Finding that nice space in the back, in the spine. And bring the chest back down. We'll tuck the toes, take ourselves all the way back up through high plank and then back to our downward facing dog. From here, I want you to start walking through the feet, pedaling out through those ankles, the backs of the legs, the toes. Inhale here and exhale. 
and then take your time. We'll start to walk the feet all the way up towards the top of the mat. Nice and slowly, meeting in a forward fold, feet hip distance apart, a little bend in those legs. Just start by swaying side to side, releasing that spine. Take a hold of opposite elbows with your hands, creating this little hammock with your arms. Nice big sway side to side, releasing the neck, that lower back. Inhale and exhale. And those hands can fall back down towards the mat. We're going to roll up to standing. Take your time here, really slow it down so you feel each vertebrae of the spine stacking on top as you rise all the way up. Hair comes up last. And then once you get there, we'll roll the shoulders up, back and down, arms by the sides, palms facing forward. Find our mountain pose, inhale here. Open the mouth, exhale it out. And then let those arms just hang by the sides, give them a little shape. From here, we're gonna work on a little bit of balance. I want you to take a spot in front of you, something that's not moving, something that you can focus on to help with that stability. Start to take the weight into your left foot now, so you can come onto your right toes. Find that spot and we're gonna inhale, bring that right knee into the chest. You can interlace the hands around that knee. Just gently start to squeeze it in. Inhaling here. And exhale. So from here, I want you to flex that right foot already. We're then going to cross that right ankle over the top of the left knee. And we're going to start to bend into that standing leg, so into that left leg. We find ourselves in this figure four position, I'll just show you. So in this figure four, you can see it's like a number four. We've got that right foot is nice and flexed. We want that right knee to be drawing out or drawing down towards the mat. And if you bend a little deeper into that standing leg, you'll find a deeper stretch in that right outer hip. So from here we can stay or you can bring the palms at the chest. If you want to find a little deeper, maybe try to get those forearms on top of that shin. Staying here, breathing, keeping that stability. If you want, you can move your focus down to something on the ground. And if you want to take it a little further, we can try to reach those fingertips down towards the mat. Inhaling here and exhaling. Nice and slowly now, we're going to still keep balancing on that left leg. We're going to rise back up, bring that right knee back into the chest. And then from here, we're going to take that right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Big step back, drop the back knee down, give that little ankle a little rest. Untuck the back toes here. We inhale, sweep those arms up, press those hips forwards, find ourselves in this low lunge. Inhaling here. As we exhale, straighten the front leg, find our half splits. Flex that front foot, that might feel really nice around that ankle after all that balancing we did. Inhaling here, exhale to stay. We then inhale, shift forwards, plant those hands, tuck the back toes. We're going to step all the way back. Bring that left foot all the way up and back to our three-legged dog. Left leg goes up and back. And then from there, we're going to bend the knee and open up the hip. Inhaling here, feeling like that right, that left knee, sorry, is pointing up towards the ceiling. Exhale to stay. Inhaling again. This time as we exhale, we then step that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Big step up. And once again, drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. We now found ourselves in our lizard pose. Start to roll onto the outside blade of that left foot. Let that left knee fall out towards the side. Again, working into those outer hips. If you want, you can gently start to press that left knee away. Stay here, or if you want a little quad stretch in that back leg, you can start to bring that right foot in. And see if you can take a hold of that foot with your left hand. But we want to work on opening up through that front left outer hip. So if you feel like you're kind of compensating just so you can reach for that foot, then I really want to just take it a little step back and just start to focus more on that left hip. So inhale wherever we are. 
Exhale to stay. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale, release that foot if you have it. Everyone bring that left hand back down. Tuck the back toes here. We're going to step that right foot, so that back foot, all the way to the outside of the right hand. Sink those hips down. We find ourselves in our yoga squat in that malasana. Drawing those knees out wide, sinking into those hips. Take a little wiggle here, side to side. Inhale. And exhale. From here, standing up nice and strong, press through those feet. We stand up, reach those arms up overhead, squeeze the glutes. Inhale. Exhale, bring the palms at the chest. And then from here, bring those feet back to that hip distance apart. We're going to move through that flow on the other side. So once again, find that spot in front of you, something that's not moving. Start to take the weight onto the right foot now, come onto those left toes. From here, inhale, bring that left knee into the chest, interlace the hands around that shin or that knee, or even behind the back of the knee. And then start to bring that knee a little bit into the chest. Inhale in here, roll the shoulders back. And then here, flex that left foot already. And then we're going to cross that left ankle over the top of that right knee. Start to bend into that standing leg, sinking those hips back, feeling that left knee drawing down, finding that figure four shape with those legs. And here, if you want, you can bring the palms at the chest. Inhaling here. The deeper the stretch we'll find in that outer hip if we sink those hips down a little bit more, if we bend into that standing leg even more. If you want, you can bring those forearms onto that shin. Staying here, or if you can try reaching those fingertips down. Breathing where we are. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Now slowly, slowly, we're going to come up to standing, keeping standing on that balance. Bring that left knee back into the chest. And then shoot that leg all the way to the back of the mat. Drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, we find that low lunge. Inhale, sweep those arms up, palms together, pressing those hips forwards. As we exhale, straighten that front leg, find our half splits. Flex that front foot. Inhaling here. And exhale. We inhale, shift forwards, plant the hands. Tuck the back toes, take that right leg all the way up and back. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, open up that hip. Think like those hips are stacking on top. Those hips are open towards the right. Inhaling here. And then as we exhale, take that right foot, step it all the way to the outside of the right hand. Big step up, drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. Finding ourselves in our lizard pose on the other side. We start to roll onto the outside blade of that right foot now. Let that right knee fall out towards the side. You can even stay here if this feels just right for you. Or you can gently start to press that right knee away. Inhale where we are. And exhale. And only if it feels like you're adding rather than taking away, you can start to bring that left, that back foot in and see if you can take a hold of that foot with your right hand. Inhaling here and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Letting that foot go, if we have it, bring that hand back down under the shoulder. Tuck the back toes, lift that back knee up. Once again, stepping back up to Malasana, step that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Sink those hips down. Let's take a little wiggle side to side. Standing up strong, we inhale, press through the feet, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms at the chest. Let's take those feet together this time. Toes touching, heels slightly apart. Inhale here, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, we plant the hands, step, hop, or we can walk the feet back through into your chaturanga, halfway down. 
Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, hips up and back. Find our downward facing dog. Inhaling here, just one breath. Straight away, exhale, we'll bend the knees and look between the hands, step, walk or hop the feet up. We inhale, find a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale to roll. Inhaling, rolling up to standing, arms come up, palms touch. Exhale, palms at the chest, let's go again. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, make your way back through your vinyasa. Stepping or hopping back through chaturanga. Inhale to our back bend. And exhale, hips up and back. Find your downward facing dog. Again, just one breath and moving fast. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, step, walk or hop. Meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, arms sweep up. Exhale, palms out the chest. One more time, inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, make your way back through your vinyasa. Inhale, back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Here we're gonna stay. Three long breaths, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale here. This time exhale to bring the knees down. And then from here we're going to come into our frog position. So this is a really deep inner thigh stretch, hip stretch. If you want you can come more towards the side of your mat because you're going to take those knees out wide. What I'm going to do is start to walk those knees out a little bit wider. And then you want to keep your feet in line with your knees rather than coming together. You want the feet in line with the knees. And then slowly take your time. Oops. Slowly take your time. You're going to walk those knees out a little bit wider. And then if it's just enough for you, you can just stay, take a couple of breaths. And then maybe you can inch those knees out a little bit wider. I'll just stay here for just a couple of breaths and if you want you can start to come down onto your forearms. Just make sure that those hips aren't rocking forwards but you want them to be in line with your knees. If that means that you need to take those hips back a little bit you'll start to feel it a little bit deeper. Nice big deep breaths in. This is quite a deep stretch here so just focus on that breath. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. Let's take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. And then from here, almost like you're swimming forwards, you can start to rock all the way forward till you come onto your belly and just gently bring those knees together. We find ourselves all the way on our belly. And then from here, press through the hands and the knees, take ourselves to our child's pose. Give yourself a nice little wiggle. And then I'm gonna roll all the way up. Roll to the outside of that left hip, bring the legs out in front. Finding ourselves in the seated position, we can start to flex the feet. And if you do have a yoga strap or even just a jumper or something close by, you can grab that. And then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up overhead and taking a forward fold, hinging at the hips, reaching towards the front of the room. Now, if you can take a hold of your feet quite easily without reaching for those toes and bending the legs, then you can do. But I really advise if you do have that yoga strap or something similar, you just wrap it around those feet. And then from here, you can gently inhale, keep that spine nice and long. So start to lift that chest. And then as you exhale, pull with those hands, keeping that spine nice and long, taking this forward fold. So 
feeling that stretch in the back of the legs, flexing those feet. Inhale. And exhale. Rolling the shoulders back, spine nice and long, inhaling. And exhaling. Let's take one more breath. Inhale here. And exhale. And slowly release that grip. Release that strap if we have it. And then start to plant the feet down. Hip distance apart. Scooch the hips up towards those heels. We're going to roll down onto our back. Just make sure you can tickle the back of the heels with your fingertips. Coming up into our bridge pose now. Make sure your knees don't fall out wide. But we're going to inhale, press through the feet, lift those hip bones nice and high. And you can roll the shoulder blades underneath the body, puffing that chest up a little bit more. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale, roll down the spine nice and slowly. Once we're there, I want you to bring both knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze in. And then we hop the hips over towards the right as you guide the knees over towards the left. So finding this nice twist through the spine. Then both knees fall over towards that left hand side. Take a big breath in here, let it go all the way down into the belly. And exhale to stay. And again, inhale. And exhale. Let's bring it back through center. Inhale, bring both knees back in. Hop the hips back through center. And then another hop over towards the left as you guide the knees over towards the right. Bringing out through that spine. Inhale, breathe into the belly. Exhale, release. And again, inhale. And exhale. I'm going to bring it all the way back through center. Hop those hips back to center. As we then take the legs out long, find ourselves in our Shavasana. Now, I'll give you another option for Shavasana. If you want, you can have the legs out long. Or if you still want to work into those hips a little bit, you can bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out wide. Whatever's more comfortable for you. But I want you to let the arms fall by the sides, palms facing up. The eyes are closed. Let's take one big breath in, all the way down into the belly, up to the chest. I want you to hold at the top. Fill in the lungs up as much as we can. And then open the mouth, big sigh out. Letting all those muscles relax. Letting go of the breath now. Just feel the body heavy against the ground. And from here, we'll just slowly start to wiggle the fingers and toes. And if your knees are out wide, then just gently take a hold of the backs of the knees, bring them up through center. And then everyone, take that time rolling over onto your side. 
And give yourself just a moment before you bring yourself all the way back up to that comfortable seated position we found at the beginning. And then once you're there, just roll those shoulders up, back and down. Bring the palms together at the chest. Namaste.